you can master the pen tool in just five minutes. So let's start our timer now to begin. To access the pen tool, our shortcut is P on our keyboards, or we can find it right here in the toolbar. The tool that we'll want to use is the regular pen tool. These other two options aren't going to be as useful for the majority of our projects. These other three options down here we can also ignore because with some keyboard shortcuts, we can basically just activate them without selecting them. With the regular pen tool active, up in the options bar we have a few things to select. The first is that we want to make sure auto add delete is enabled, so we can just click on anchor points to add or delete them. The next option is the pen mode. We can choose whether we want to create a path, which is really useful to create sharp selections, create vector masks, or convert our path into a shape later on. It's the best all around option for the pen tool. Or if we just want to create a custom shape from the very beginning, we'll choose the shape mode. But in this case, since I want to have the most flexibility, I'll choose the path mode. Now let's say I want to trace the outer edge of this building. I'll just click once to add a little box called an anchor point. And if I click again, it will create another anchor point and connect the two points with a line known as a path. Now, as I continue to click, it will continue to create a path line connecting every single point that I click with a new anchor point. But obviously, every single time I click, it just creates a straight line like a connect the dots drawing. If we wanted to, say, trace the edge of this building, we would need a curve. So if you want to curve your path lines, just click and drag after you have created a new anchor point. This creates these two little arms known as control arms, and these can be edited in two different ways. If we hold command or control and click on our control arms, this will allow us to edit both ends of our control arm at the same time. But if we only wanted to edit one half of the control arm, we can hold alt or option and click on that half of the control arm to only edit that one side of it. That way, when we create a new anchor point, we can edit just that half of the curve, not the other half. So holding Alt or Option will allow you to edit those separately. Holding Command or Control will edit both halves of the curve together. But in this case, since I want to follow the edge of this building, my path is already way too off the rails because I wasn't curving the path line. So I'll delete it just by right clicking on the path and going to Delete Path. This time I'll click on the same area to begin with, add my anchor points, but click and drag to curve them so that we are following the edge of the object that we want to select. Now when you are using this tool, you're basically wanting to trace the edge of the object to turn into a selection, a mask, or a shape. Now as you can see, I have a bit of a mistake here, so I can go back to the previous control arm, hold Alt or Option to click on that control arm, and then update the curve of that path. Now we'll just continue on clicking and dragging to adjust this. And if we need to move a anchor point from its current position, we can again hold command or control, but click on the anchor point this time to move that anchor point up or down to reposition it along our edge. I'll just continue this process, clicking and dragging out, going along the outer edge of the building here until you're happy with the result. Now again, if you have a mistake, hold alt or option, click on the related control arm and then drag down or up to refine the curve and get a better result for your pen path. But since we only have five minutes here, it does often take a little bit of time to go around with a pen path because it is the most precise selection method that you can create in Photoshop, but it also requires obviously manual effort. So let's just pretend that I've already gone ahead and selected the outer edge of this building. Once you've gone all the way around an object, you want to connect it back to the starting point to complete your path. Once you have a completed path, you'll notice in the options bar, we can choose the make, selection, mask, or shape. If we choose selection, that will take our outer path here and turn this into a selection that we could use to say, create a layer mask, align layers, or even use for manual brush adjustments. I'll press Command or Control Z to undo that. Our next option would be to create a mask. And while an image layer is selected, we can click on the mask option and that will turn the contents of that path into a vector mask, which is like a layer mask, except it uses a path rather than the brush to edit it. So that way you can use all your same pen tool settings to adjust this mask, again, holding command or control to select an anchor point and moving that around will of course update your vector mask. Now just undoing those adjustments, the final option we have is of course to create a shape, 
Clicking on that will turn the contents of our path into a new shape layer. We can update all of those shape properties just by pressing U on our keyboard, and then we can choose our fill and stroke colors for that shape. And then we have a custom shape from scratch. Now you're up to speed with the pen tool to create really precise, amazing selections inside of Photoshop. But if you want to get a more nuanced and deep dive look at the pen tool, then make sure to check out my 30 minute masterclass video on the pen tool right here next. That goes way more in depth of this tool and all the amazing uses that you can use it for in your projects. So I hope to see you there next, but otherwise I'll catch you next time.